Yo, what's up guys, Still Riding here, with another tutorial, and before I start this tutorial, I want to, uh, announce something, uh, yesterday I uploaded a, uh, montage, uh, that I made for L7 Lube, and, um, yeah, I woke up this morning, and I went to go watch it on his channel, and then I noticed an inscription that somebody stole it, they, uh, downloaded it, uploaded it to their channel, as it was by them. And as you see, the exact same copy. Um, I think he thought he could steal it easily because if you look at the cinematic, that says buy slow editing, but it's kind of hard to see because it rendered out in 480p for some reason. And um, yeah, and the color correction makes it hard to see. Uh, so I think he thought it would be easy to steal. But little did he know that on Lube's channel, um, the video has me as the editor in the description. So. It was, well, it was a complete fail, uh, um, so yeah, some of my good friends went and put some bad comments on this channel, and crap, uh, so, just thought I'd let you guys know that before I start to destroy, uh, yeah, so today's tutorial will be on, um, how to 2D motion track, uh, that was 3D motion tracking that you actually kind of just saw, and, uh, I used some 2D motion tracking in, uh, Zane's team Taj, so, right here uh, with the text um, most track is just 2d text uh, it looks very clean um, I use it whenever you know I don't feel like waiting five hours for something to render out actually probably about a whole night for 3d to render out because I use really good settings and stuff uh, this renders out just like a regular video would do so Today for this tutorial you need Buju, um, After Effects you definitely will need. You really don't necessarily need Vegas. I just use Vegas because it's easier. You can you can render out an image sequence in After Effects too, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it in Vegas. So you want to take a cinematic. Um, this is cinematic I have from Terminal that I filmed myself. I probably will put it down in the description. Just want to drag it in. You don't want to edit it at all. If you do, you will have to re-render it out. Um, so don't edit it at all. And just crash, make it best full. And then just highlight it. And go to file, render as. And um, you want to make your own little folder for like sequences and stuff because there's a lot that will render out. So you don't want to save it to like your desktop or anything. It will just be a disaster. You just want to put on JPEG image sequence, um, you know, image sequence JPEG, and just want to save it as something, and just render it out. You want to save it inside of your own little folder that you made specifically for it. Okay. After you've done that, you want to open up Buju. Do do do. I probably said that wrong. Um. Oh, so that's French. Pretty, pretty sweet name, actually. Uh, think about it. I don't know why. It's really cool. So, should open up here in a couple seconds. Okay, then you want to go to import sequence. Um, do do. Uh, let me just get this. Go to my sequences. Oh no no. Sequences, and you just want to select the first one that should have a bunch of zeros behind it, and press open, and it'll automatically open to the last one. Pretty sweet, I know, right? Um, you don't want to do anything really, except press apply and close. And then you want to go up here, to setup, edit sequence, and you want to put the frame rate to whatever it was. So this was 59.94. Uh, press apply and close. And you might want to just go check it, just to make sure it's all good. Um, Yep, next, see if you play through, you'll see that it's perfect. Um, next, you just want to go to track features. And bring, you want to open up advance, and you want to bring sensitivity up to the top, and then just press start. So, uh, this might take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. Yo, what's up guys, now I'm back. Um, so, it's basically done. Uh, once that is done, you want to go to camera song, and just, Press OK, you really don't really do anything with this. Um, and that literally will not take as long. It will actually go by pretty fast, so I'm just going to stay out here. 
and you guys can hear me saying to myself, oh, never mind, it's done. Okay, so that's done, and that will bring all these red things into uh, yellow and blue dots. Um, sometimes, uh, some cinematics don't work as well when it comes to, you know, getting good motion tracking points. So, yeah. So, once you're done with that, you want to go to scene geometry, and you want to add in a coordinate from hint. Uh, you want to make this x-axis. An x-axis is some editors say that this is very complicated to do. It's actually very easy. And basically, what x-axis is is left to right. So select two, going left to right. I kind of want a big span. Like mine's gonna be right here, so I'm gonna have a big span in that area. Sorry about my burps. Uh, then we press this connect to selected, and you just hold control to select two. Add another corner from it and make this z axis, which is up and down. So I'll make so I'll couple, get a couple points right here and right here. Connect selected. Some people will use y axis. I really don't do that. So you want to add another corner from it and make it origin. And you want to select a dot at where this is basically going to be at. So it's going to be right about here. Yeah, right, right there. So connect selected. And just update the coordinate frame, press that a couple times, uh, close. You want to add a test object, and if this is kind of close to where your things would be, um, you're good. So that's basically exactly where I want mine to be. Um, so, next you want to, let me just, let me actually just, uh, if I could select the little the bugger thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever, he doesn't want to be selected. Okay, so next you want to select some points and um, just just hold. Oh, there you go. You just want to select some points about where, kind of around the area where you want to be. And just hold control and select, select some points. I don't want to select so many because it will get complicated. It's about good. And what you want to do is you want to right click one of the points uh, and flag for export. Okay. Once you have done that, we are ready to export it. So you want to go to export, uh, export, no, not export sequence, export, export camera solve, and you want to make the export type uh, After Effects Maya or whatever that says. <laughs> you want to export flag tracks only. You want to put the scale scene by 500. Okay. Next, you want to just save this wherever. So let me change this. Uh, because that folder does not exist anymore. And we'll just change project name to terminal. And then press save. Okay. Next, you want to go into your After Effects. And you just want to find that in the folder. So, motion track, uh, projects, terminal. You just want to drag that in. Uh, as you see, that'll make a new comp. And, uh, you want to go and find your cinematic, so uh, soldiers, model for two, and you want to find the original clip uh, that you rendered out sequence. So try that in, and you want to double click the composition so it opens up. You don't want to press anything of this; uh, it will just mess it up. Okay, next, you want to drag the clip in. Just drag that to the bottom, and as you see, you have your little nulls, which are basically the same thing as the. Uh, little things that you pressed. Uh, <laughs> I guess I, there's really nothing else you can really explain. Okay, next you just want to make some text, so let's make some text. Do, 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 do. Um, what should I name this? Uh, Supra... This is going to be for Gestro, so Supra... Gestro... Do, 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 do. And... What you want to do is you want to press... You want to press the little cube. And as you see, it will automatically kind of get it the rotation and stuff. You just want to move it, uh, you just want to move it up so it's actually where you want it to be. So move it back. So where you want it to be. So it's about where I want it to be. Uh, maybe that color is a little bad, but whatever. I guess there's really nothing I can do to change it. Um, 
what you want to do next is you want to so that's basically all you would do and um if, if you want to make like tons of lines you would press a control D and then make it so this is episode two hold on episode two and just drag that down uh change the font a little bit uh do 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 fifty dollar uh, you really, you don't want to do anything with the rotation. The only thing you want to mess with is the movement, the Z, the X, the Y, because it will be it will be out of shape. But as soon as you press the little three D, it will uh, automatically get it to the rotation part. Uh, then if I move it along, as you will see, it is pretty well motion tracked. So uh, oh yeah, I might want to move it over a little bit because that's not what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot a vital thing that you want to do. Um, you want to find one of these. So this is where I want. So you want to open a position and you want to press that Control C. You want to open up the position, the text. Click that Control V. That will automatically put it into position, and that that will be motion tracked correctly. Um, and of course, you would want to scale it down because that's ridiculously scaled. And then just move it up a little bit. Uh, same thing here. V. And scale it down a little bit. And so that's basically all you do to 2D motion track. This is kind of a long tutorial, but I do hope you enjoyed it. I'm bad at making tutorials, but I, I, I'll get better uh, as I go on. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Probably wasn't, but whatever. Uh, talk to you guys later.